Well, harvest for 2013 is underway for Cody Kirkpatrick. I'm Ty Higgins on the Ohio Agnet, riding shotgun in a John Deere S690. And Cody, of course, you work for JD Equipment out of Washington Courthouse, so we'll talk about this unit in a bit. First of all, how are things going here as you get started in your first field? Well, we've got a pretty pleasant surprise going on here in Fayette County, which we did expect to have a, a really good crop here so far, and, and um, pretty happy so far with what we're seeing. Uh, we had a we had a great summer, uh, a little dry on October on August that, that left us with a little little less uh, rain than what we'd like to see. But the pods all filled out. Uh, we've got a we've got a pretty good moisture and yield breed out going on right now too. I know that uh, you're a little disappointed with some of the weeds in the fields, but I got to tell you, it's really one of the cleanest ones I've seen. Uh, those weeds really stick out when the beans turn and. You uh, took a little bit of attention to it this summer, but you said one more shot might have done you uh, okay. Well, we tried a little different practice. Uh, going into the fall, we tried to do a, a vertical till, and I think that helped us out. We got by with only having to do about two sprays. Um, count into the spring and into the summertime months. So uh, we tried that and I think that helped to get the to get the dirt turned over and um, and maybe bury a little bit of that. The John Deere S690, tell me about this uh, big machine we're running today. Well you're sitting in the biggest machine that John Deere makes right now. Um, it's an S690. We're peaking out at about 600 horse when we're, when we're at full power and um, right now we're cutting with a 40 foot flex draper head and just kind of opening this field up cruising along about four and a half mile an hour. You can see just on the camera of the advantages this Draper head has, but tell me uh, from your vantage point some of the things that uh, really this does against the competition. Well, when you when you look at a, at a John Deere Draper head, looking from the cab right now, sitting comfortably in your seat, you look right down and you see that belt, you see the knife, everything's right there visible for you so you can see that product being fed in. Comparing this to the, the conventional heads with the augers on them, you don't see any wrapping going on. That That's really beneficial when you get into some weed pressure or you get into some really thick beans that might get tough on you throughout the afternoon. And, and they'll feed more evenly. When you feed more evenly, you use less uh, less horsepower, which when you use less horsepower, you use less fuel. Unbelievable, as we get into the middle of the field here, you're gonna be putting it really on cruise control and just letting the combine do the work. And, and you said you might as well have a Lazy Boy. You already have a fridge in here, so put a Lazy Boy and you're all set. Yeah, you're setting it on top of the world when you're riding this combine. We'll get the auto steer turned on and, and we'll just be going back and forth having a good conversation. Cody Kirkpatrick with JD Equipment, my guest for this cab cam from just inside the Fayette County line, the New Holland, Ohio area. I'm Ty Higgins reporting for the Ohio Agnet, and we'll see you down the road.